So the last time we talked about kingdom of protista, fungi, etc. Today we are going to start with kingdom plantae. This kingdom includes all organisms which are multicellular, eukaryotic and green autotrophs. The kingdom which consists of green plants is further divided first on the basis of differentiation of the plant body whether well differentiated into different parts like root, stem, leaf etc or not. Okay, so we will understand this point that the green plants, the green organisms are categorized under kingdom plantae okay so these are multicellular eukaryotic and green autotrophs and this kingdom consists of um, they are basically divided and differentiated on the plant body uh, by their root stem leaf etc but different parts and the second uh, differentiation or division is done on the basis of second level of classification is based on whether the differentiated plant body has vascular tissue or not further classification is based on whether seeds are present or not and whether seeds are enclosed within fruits or not okay so uh, first classification is uh, easy first division is easy that is you have to just divide the plant body and you have to see the different parts of root stem leaf etc the second level of classification uh, focuses whether you have vascular tissues or not and the further the classification goes on whether you have seeds present in, uh, in the plant or not or whether seeds are enclosed within the fruit or outside so kingdom plant includes aquatic thallophytes green brown and red algae and land plants consisting of bryophytes, pteridophytes, gymnosperms and angiosperms. Okay. So here we have come across a word that is thalophyte. Okay. What's the meaning of thalophyte? So thalophytes are they are any of the group of plants of plant-like organisms such as algae and fungi that lack differentiated stems, leaves and roots. Okay. So you cannot differentiate in their stems, roots, shoots, etc. Okay. The next we have bryophytes. What are bryophytes? Okay. So bryophytes are a group of plant species that reproduce via spores rather than flowers or seeds. They are mostly found in damp environment and consist of three types of non-vascular land plants. Mosses, hornwoods and live liverworts. See, you don't need to focus on this. You just have to know that bryophytes are a group of plant species that reproduce via spores rather than flowers or seeds. The next we have pteridophytes. So pteridophytes, uh, they, a pteridophyte is a vascular plant uh, with xylem and phloem that disperses spores. Because pteridophytes produce neither flowers nor seeds, they are sometimes referred to as cryptograms. Okay, cryptograms. Next we have gymnosperms. What are gymnosperms? So gymnosperms are group of seed producing plants that include conifers, cycads, ginkgo and netophytes. The gymnosperm comes from the composite word Greek, naked seeds. It is based on the unenclosed condition of their seeds. You want to see some examples? Here are the pictures given. You can see. Yeah. Moving forward, we have angiosperms. Okay, so the flowering plants, also known as angiosperms, sperms, are the most diverse group of land plants with 64 orders, 416 families, approximately 13 families, approximately 13,000. Okay. Now we move forward to Kingdom Animalia. Despite more than a million types of animals inhabiting the earth, the 
animal kingdom is characterized by following common features animals are multicellular eukaryotic organisms most animals have a high level of tissue differentiation and many have specialized body organs most animals have a nervous system which is used to coordinate their body actions and responses animal nutrition is heterotrophic they lack uh, photosynthetic pigment animal cells lack cell wall animals possess the power of locomotion in sexual reproduction animals produce haploid male gametes sperms and female gametes ova singular ovum after fertilization the zygote after repeated divisions and differentiation produces the new individual kingdom animalia include sponges corals flatworms roundworms earthworm insects snails starfish fishes frog toads birds snakes tiger elephant and humans the green algae they are aquatic they can prepare their own food that's why they are called autotrophic and contain green pigment the green colored pigment chlamydomonas and spiro- spirogyra are given in the diagrams now we move to brown algae and red algae in brown algae brown pigment is present whereas in red algae red pigment is present giving them their respective colors here are some of the diagrams given okay here is a uh, one green box given let's focus on focus on some of these so the uh, have you must have seen the stale bread jo purana ho jata hai there is some blackish cottony mass over the bread that is due to the fungus called bread mold it is a rhizopus yeast is used in bread making industry some mushrooms are poisonous so be careful while eating the mushrooms bryophytes are known as the amphibians of the plant kingdom as they live on land in moist shady places and need water for reproduction you have to learn the um definition of bryophytes also moving forward bryophyta green plant found in moist shady shady places they have stems and leaves but no roots root like structure called rhizoids are present they help to absorb water and minerals from the soil and fix the plant body to the soil okay so the here are the rhizoid and which allow them to suck and absorb water and minerals from the soil and fix the plant body to the soil okay all the diagrams are very very important every function is important moving forward to teredophyta green plants teredophyta are green plants found in cool shady places they have roots stem and leaves okay we have gymnosperms so we are right now reading about the kingdom plantae these are plant bearing seeds but no fruits as in gycus and pinus okay angiosperms these are plant bearing seeds which are enclosed inside fruits as in mango guava brinjal tomato maize wheat and sugarcane angiosperms are further divided into two two groups depending on the number of seed leaves present in the seeds dicotledon uh, dicotledonous plants in which seeds contain two seed leaves as in gram you ma- you all have read this in class 6 uh, syllabus of flower the flower chapter monocotyledons in which uh, the seeds contain only one seed leaf as in the case of wheat maize and rice okay now we come to the from this topic we are going to read on the next slide in the next video we will continue from bacteria and we will also discuss fungi we will discuss their reproduction and we will do the exercises also okay for any doubts or queries just comment on the comment section and everything will be clarified to you